Welcome. Welcome to Behind the Loop. I'm going to explain to you what we're currently laughing about. We were supposed to go to India. We're going to India right now. This is what this episode is going to be about. We're going to go look at diamonds. That's the plan. But in typical Guvila fashion, we applied for our Indian visas to get into the country with an hour of buffer. And so I got approved, but my bum editor entered in information incorrectly and we've been denied twice now. So we finagled our way to get through TSA, but there's no way we're gonna do that in India. So now we have a 16 hour flight and we have no idea if we can actually get into the country, which I know sounds pretty fucking stupid, but like I said, this episode is gonna be ridiculous. So let's go, let's try to do it. Wait, that's the 24 carrier? Yeah. yeah. I'm having an internal debate on whether I should go for the street food. You don't see those two boys that are following. We'll see how we make it home. Day one in Dubai. Here's a live update. We still don't have a visa to get into Mumbai. We're bums. We've now been rejected three times and we're still here. Tried it. But in good news, we get to stay a couple days in beautiful Dubai. It's sunny, it's hot, it's all hell. And we're gonna go visit the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. Hey, we wanted to buy a ticket to go up? It's almost impossible to get one of the subs or anything like that. It's yeah. not impossible, but it's a little bit difficult. <laughs> Let's say company creates one, one million pieces per year, separated by 189 countries. You can imagine that. <laughs> so in other words, yeah. you're not getting it. <laughs> no, nothing is impossible. <laughs> yeah, well. That thought ever crosses your mind. This mall is here to humble that ass. <laughs> It looks like a like a made up Lego world, but like it for real life. Voy a empezar, creo que cuatro más. El kilo es 30, 30 pulgadas. Te lo voy a escribir ahora. Básicamente, estas son las que no me entregaste. Perfecto. Pero me entregaste de 26 y 24. 
Okay. Ya me entregaste todo eso. Y lo que faltaba era estas dos. Entonces estoy diciendo que se me puede cortar a 22 y a 20 okay. estas dos. Perfecto. Y la corta y por eso la de la. Bueno, me va a cortar ahora mismo entonces para. Que They cut all these bits. This is the repairs right here. Uh, this is our manager, Vic. He's the one that lets us know what not to do. And uh, he's tired of our bullshit. He saw that deep you breeze and like tired about you. Still? No way he doesn't do that. Right. What the? <laughs> Teamwork, man. Teamwork makes the dream work, man. Working on top of each other because. Okay. Can you need JB like that. Oh, um, he has three pieces. I'm gonna give him extra two. Hell no, nah, give him. Hell no. Nah. Okay. You got any brown paper over here? You wish. Yo, recycle. Alright? GBJ's about recycling. <laughs> Bien, vengo a recoger. Nico no te dijo nada para recoger. ¿Cuánto quieres recoger? Eran cinco. ¿Cinco qué? Cinco onzas. ¿Cinco onzas de oro? Sí. Bro, it's six onzas. Six onzas. Yeah. ¿En qué es la diferencia que salga así o, en, o depende de dónde venga? A mí que tiene que ver mucho con el, con el producto que estás metiendo. No, y también, yo he visto que algunos lo traen de algunos lados, lo traen de Perú directamente, pero tiene un tono diferente. Te digo que serán los otros minerales que hay en la tierra. Tiene que ver tal vez con el contenido de plata con el que viene. El oro nunca aparece de manera natural. Solo. Sí, exactamente. Él siempre aparece con plata. Entonces, mayormente tiene que ver mucho con el contenido de plata, el contenido de cobre, como no como mucho el crap. Uh -huh. También incluye mucho el contenido de cobre que tiene Claro. O sea, eh, lo que más usan los joyeros para hacer las prendas, pues para rebajarlo eh. es el cobre. El cobre y, y el la plata. Oye, mm. hermano, gracias. Que te da buena tarde. Que bien. Buenas. Buenas, vengo un poco tarde, pero, pero vengo. Bastante tarde. 
usted revisó cómo se veía? ¿Se veía mejor? Eh, sale mejor. O sea, ya a la hora de, de, de fundir, de, de engastar, no sé, pero... No, está mucho mejor. Sí. No, sí, eso sí va a funcionar. Es que es demasiado grueso esa pieza. Hay mucha, mucha diferencia en sí. ese grosor y esos, esos broncitos. Sí, claro que sí. No, pero esto va a funcionar. Creo que estoy casi 100% seguro sí, que va a funcionar. Victor, how are you today? Hey Victor, I'm good, how are you? Good, good bro. I have your ring here, brother. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Um, the only question, the only is the, uh, is three grand over, so we're only going to charge you for the price gold. It's uh, $257. Okay, so that's what, about 85 a grand? Yeah, yeah. Can you text me the information of how much you need me to do it? For sure. Just give me one second. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, thanks. Welcome back to the Bum Show. So after a couple of extended days in Dubai, we finally got our visas. We had to eat shit for a couple days, to be honest, because there was nothing else to do but just wait for the consulate. And now we're on our flight to Mumbai. The whole point of this trip is we want to get better connections with manufacturers that can lower costs on a lot of the goods that in the States just cost too much bread and build ties with diamond manufacturers so that we can get better pricing. So watch us as we do that on this trip. We're going to talk to a bunch of people and it's going to be cool. Check this shit out. Welcome to beautiful India. We made it, boys. We are here. It happens to be crazy monsoon season, so it's rainy. We're getting chauffeured around. We're going to sightsee. And then tomorrow, we're actually going to be in Surat, which is the diamond capital of the world, which was the whole point of us coming to this. So let's be whack-ass tourists. Walk around, smell the smells, eat the eats. Lego. to India or whatever one of those looks pretty cool I'm having an internal debate on whether I should go for the street food but my boy stupid has been has watched enough TikTok videos so he says that we're gonna get some sort of diarrhea cue, cue the b-roll of disgusting TikTok videos <laughs> of Indian street food <laughs> Hey, 
Bishka, Bishka. Surat, and we are at the famous Branda Terminus. I couldn't book this train ticket online, so one of my friends who has someone here booked it for us, and they booked this a third class seat, which maybe barely has AC. So we're about to find out whether we can upgrade the seat or we're about to do this shit real Mumbai style. <laughs> no AC, four hours, Surat. According to TikTok, these seats are going to be horrendous <laughs> and it's about to be a long four hour trip. So, you guys better appreciate this shit, honestly. These diamond prices better be that much lower, dog. <laughs> You're wrong for this. <laughs> You're so wrong. So this is it. This is our home for the next six hours until we get the suit out. It wasn't that bad actually. We got nice pillows. They're clean pillows. Oh, coffee? I'll take coffee. Yes. Yeah. All right. They got baristas on board. <laughs> Have to get up here. Bro, no way you're gonna, bro. Let me go up there, bro. No, no, you're gonna go up there. No? What's the go over there? <laughs> hey, this. you're gonna collapse on top of me. <laughs> Let's go. So, we made it on the train. Quite the experience. We're editing, never stop working. Let's go. And we got about four hours until we get to where we gotta go and uh this is just a it's all part of the experience i don't know if it's good or bad what i uh <laughs> loved a uh, nice emirates business chair obviously but you know you work what you got ultimately the goal is to get to suda like i had mentioned before the thing about the world of jewelry in general is the absolute gatekeeping that so many people do so if you want to have these contacts in the city like this, you either go to it, do this drive, or you pay a premium for the middleman who does know the people here. So what we're trying to do is cut that guy out. Yeah. Oh, coffee? Coffee? Coffee. Yes, coffee. Oh, well, let's go. Getting some coffee. What's also crazy about these trips when you travel is without sounding too crazy introspective about anything that we do here, but it's cool because it hits like a mental reset button in the sense of just having you appreciate things that you normally take for granted, like being on YouTube and recording with a camera and having a laptop and staying in like nice hotels and all this shit that, you know, back home is something that we just take for granted and, and here they're like real luxuries. So it's cool. In addition to that, we're gonna eat some good food. I'm gonna sip down this chai here and eat the next four hours on this train.
श्री माता वैष्णो कृपा स्वराज सुपर फास्ट एक्सप्रेस Definitely not Mumbai. Say that one. What a fucking sensory overload. Jesus Christ. We went from a nice chilling train for the last three hours to mayhem. made it we took a nice long shower to get rid of all that train juice that we had everywhere uh, we're in officially in Surat the diamond capital of the world right now it happened to be a perfect timing because I didn't really want to do anything today and today is a national holiday here so everything is closed anyway we're just gonna kind of roam around drive around see if we can get into some sort of trouble eat something come back but tomorrow it officially all starts so let's see if this thing is actually gonna pay off because that train ride was enough to make me never want to come to Surat ever again. Hello, sir. What are the odds someone runs a fade on me while I, while I record? Hi. Hi, right. So just keep an eye out because I'm going to be focusing on the camera. Yo. <laughs> you don't see those two boys that are following. Thank you. 
Look at that place and look at this place. We're going over there. What about this place? Nachos and burritos, my boy. I did not come all the way over here to have some fucking shit burritos from in there. Like, come on, my boy. <laughs> So after that failed chicken and burrito place he took us to, we went like, yo, we want some real local shit, some like, like I'm gonna hate myself in the toilet shit. So we are at Casimri. I don't know. Where there's a chili in the goddamn slogan, so you know that shit's gonna hurt. And not to get my Anthony Bourdain on or anything, but I just ordered a bunch of shit. I have no idea what it is, but we're gonna see if it's any good. That's It's gonna hurt. Oh. That's legit fire. What the fuck is this? Oh. That's spicy as fuck. But this right here is ridiculously good. And here comes the rice, baby. Let's go. Can we? You want to get one more of these? Rice, I don't know, some sort of chicken in here. We just had some barbecue chicken. Forget it, though. And now, finally, what this show was all about. We're gonna get picked up right now. some like around almost 50 meters you will get the right side stairs okay you can go upstairs to platform the two. railway station is at the first floor okay perfect brother thank you so much man i appreciate it It's now 6 p.m. Gujarati, Surat time. <laughs> we are now stranded in Surat. This trip has been one hell of a goddamn ride, to be honest with you. They were in the middle of monsoon season. Look at this crazy torrential rain that's literally falling as we speak. The trains that were supposed to leave out of Surat to go back to Bombay are now canceled. So now we're scrambling to try to find the flight because we have to leave tomorrow. So now we gotta get somehow, some way to Mumbai tomorrow. Our options are train, car. Car, you can't do it. Train, there's a delay every other second and most of the trains are canceled. So. I'm scrambling to try to find a flight. We're gonna see if I can find one. 
If I could do it cool, if not... A few moments later. 8 a.m. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, get back to school. Uh, uh, I don't have advice, no such thing. No advice, no such thing. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Welcome to the underbelly of India's travel system. <laughs> this is what happens when you board the wrong train in the wrong direction. Uh, because this, because we're absolute morons, we went into the wrong direction. We got stopped by train patrol, and they told us that we're going now back two hours back the other way. It's hell, but this time we didn't have a confirmed seat. So we're in basically wherever they could squeeze us. No AC. Back to Suda. <laughs> A wicked turn of events, but we're trying to stay positive. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see how we make it home. We made it, Gus. We just got out of that train right there. And rather than risking it, jumping on another one of those trains for another eight hours to Mumbai, we're gonna fly this time. <sighs> Man, what a journey. We have finally made it. Finally made it. Finally in Mumbai, what an insane couple of hours. This morning we woke up at 11 o'clock at night. What an insane trip this was. Every single day was a learning experience. We got shown so much insane amount of hospitality. I can't stress to you how grateful I am and how humbled I am that we got to experience this. Traveling, if you guys do get a chance to go anywhere else in the world, it makes you feel grateful for number one, what you have, but the fact that the beauty of the human experience is something that we all take for granted and at the end of the day it takes a trip like that for you to seriously sit there and and think about it and feel appreciated and humbled and then also of course you guys the viewers the people who buy the chains the people who buy the diamond rings that buy all these stuff that allow us to be able to feed our families and of course go on the trips like this so 
I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the loop. This was raw, uncut. There's a lot of stuff that we debated whether we were gonna put it in it or not. I hope you guys liked it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. We're back off to Miami. 22 hours to go. Catch you guys in the next one. Holla.